Well, what the hell? You want to know something even after the entire day it took for me to think about this? I still can't muster a fucking script. So you want to know something? I'm going to be straight up face to face with you guys. As a matter of fact, I don't need this little kickstand here that I call a tripod for my mic because here's the thing. Here's the big thing. Let me just unscrew the endless hole here. Now I'm going to be real close and in person with you guys. There's an issue going on. And the issue has to do with YouTube. Now see, there's been countless amount of people that has been tweeting about this. There's been countless amount of people that's been vlogging about this. And the thing of it is, is that there is a problem with YouTube. And before everyone is all like, oh, no shit, Sherlock. Well, allow for me to tell you guys exactly what the problem is. You see, it all first started with the whole ad-friendly content guidelines, meaning that there were certain kinds of content that was not advertiser-friendly. And for the most part, I kind of agree. But the thing of it is, is this. A big part of how that system is corruptible is because of how automated the system is. And before I get into that nice big juicy can of wormies, I'm going to go into a little more detail about the whole ad-friendly content guidelines. You see, okay, so there's certain things on YouTube that you will not have ads on, such as use of drugs, such as violence, gore, bullying, all that stuff. And for the most part, a lot of it seems understandable. But see, here's the thing. Here's the big thing. It all revolves around context at the end of the day. You see, what if there's a video, like for example, I will give you a very crisp example. Okay, we got Boogie2988, who is, without a doubt, one of the very best YouTubers there is. He is a saint, and I say that from both my character and my real life self. Because at one point, when I was down in the dumps, his video saved me when I was going through about a suicidal depression. No lie. And you also got another YouTuber known as Mr. Repsion who makes vid videos similar to that effect. But you see, those videos have been somewhat censored. Now see, those videos are still allowed to be up. But see, there's no ads on them. There's no ads. Which means that they aren't going to be able to make money off them. And furthermore, those videos get age restricted. Now, here's the thing. It all revolves around context at the end of the day. And see, if YouTube implemented that sort of thinking process, well then, the system would not be as flawed. But it is, because the system is automated. See, rather than investigating these complaints, they have a whole bunch of automated suit-wearing monkeys that are just like, oh, click, 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 yeah. Bye-bye, your channel's terminated, or bye-bye, your channel's suspended, or bye-bye, your thousands of videos is demonetized. And see, maybe that was a little bit overdramatic. Maybe. Just just, just a touch. Just a touch. But see, that, that right there is just skimming the tip of the iceberg. Problem number two comes in the form of the most recent problem known as YouTube Heroes. YouTube heroes, more like YouTube villains. And the reason for that is because of the amount of bullshittery that is within that video. I mean, you guys can go and take a look at the video for yourself. You take a look at the amount of dislikes that there are to likes. And I know that that isn't exactly the most proper way to judge a video for yourself just by the amount of dislikes to likes. But it has a pretty good idea as to how good or how bad that video is. And I'll just put it to you this way. That Infinite Warfare trailer, the fucking Call of Duty shit, I don't play that stuff, so I apologize for being kind of simple-minded in that regard. But see, the thing of it is, is that trailer was one of the most disliked trailers of all time. One of the most disliked videos of all time on YouTube. But you see, here's the thing. Here's the big thing is that their dislike to like ratio is actually better than the dislike to like ratio for the YouTube Heroes video. And one of the big standing points that made so many people mad, so many people pissed, and rightfully so, I think, is because you can flag, mass flag videos. And all it takes is three fucking strikes and you're out! You're zippity done! That's it. 
And I think that system right there is fucking corruptible, especially given the fact, uh, still, like I said earlier, how automated the system is. It's because of the fact that people who have a good agenda or a bad agenda, they can go ahead and start racking up those points, okay? Start racking them up, you know? Doing this, doing that, putting captions on someone's videos, you know, uh, helping someone out, you know, like, and flagging videos, all that stuff, like, reporting things, like, there, there, there's, there's literally a bunch of ways that you can rack up points, and the thing of it is, is, there's a lot of people that have done videos on this, and they themselves, like I'm doing right now, have voiced our distaste for this idea. Now, see, this kind of, uh, this kind of brings me to my next point here, as to how YouTube is fucking up very badly. Pardon my French, but I'm pretty fucking pissed right now. I'm well, it's not so much I'm pissed, I'm heated. I am very much heated. I'm very much intense. As you can tell, yeah, I just came home from the gym. I'm sweaty as hell. I pumped up my legs, doing a whole bunch of volume maximizing set shit for squats. I don't care about that shit right now. See, here's the thing. Here's the big thing. Is that another way that YouTube is fucking up is because of the fact that they now have added, okay? And I, and I can't believe that this is actually fucking happening. But see, here's the thing. Say, okay, say for example, okay, I'm subscribed to Tempels, okay? Good friend of mine, very talented young adult. See, here's the thing, okay? Uh, in, my, in your sub box, okay, when you're subscribed to someone and, okay, you have your sub box and normally whenever someone uploads a video, okay, their video would appear in your sub box. But you see, now here's the thing. It's like, now it's not going to happen every single upload. Now it's like, there, there, there's a high chance that their next upload ain't even going to appear in your sub box. And you're thinking, well, 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 what the hell happened? Like, did this person fall off the face of the earth or something? Did he get sick? Did he not upload? Did he have technical difficulties? Like, seriously, seriously. Like, this is why so many people on YouTube are fucking discouraged. This is why so many people are bitching and moaning incessantly about about how their videos are getting a lack of views and bitching and moaning incessantly for the right reason I might add because especially if you treat this as your job okay you treat this as your job and you're not getting the amount of views that you used to get that's a fucking problem it's not an issue for me because of the fact that I actually have a full-time job outside of YouTube okay I work healthcare security and I've been doing that for the last five years but the thing of it is, is that one of these days, okay, one of these days, I am going to want to, you know, have my shot at fortune on YouTube. But the thing of it is, the thing of it is, money and views ain't important. This is about principle, goddammit. And the thing of it is, is that so many of us are being fucking screwed by YouTube. And YouTube is actually going to end up negatively impacting themselves at the end of it all because of all these stupid ideas that they are throwing forth in front of us. Which brings me to my biggest point right here. And I want you guys to please try and bear with me on this, okay? See, here's the thing, okay? We have our issues with each other every now and then, okay? We have issues with person A because of the way that they do things. We have issues with person B because of, you know, like they, they upload content that maybe we don't like. Like, for example, okay, okay, for example, and I'm using these names strictly as an example, okay? I got no ill will towards these people. You got someone like Leafy is here, who is a, a satire channel, okay? There's a lot of people that don't like him, and because of the system, you want to know what's going to happen? Is that there's going to be a lot of these fucking trolls that are going to go around, and when they rack up enough points, they are going to start mass flagging his videos. And the thing of it is, like, let's take a look at another person, Velocify, before you guys freak out and be like, oh my god, Velocify! Here's the thing. Okay, we can all have our issues with Velocify, with Shofu, with anybody. I don't give a shit about that. This is not about having an issue with people, okay? This is about a community that is in fucking trouble because of an issue thanks to YouTube itself. And I'm not trying to be over dramatic or trying to be mean to anybody about this, but see, here's the thing. We need to step up, okay? Whether we like each other or hate each other, okay? See, there's there's some people that I've had tussles with in the past. I mean, fuck, I blew up my Twitter earlier because I was on a rage rant. I was pissed off. I didn't know what the hell to say or what to think. I was just spewing the first thing that came to mind. 
And the thing of it is, is one of the things that I had made light to was the fact that we can have issues with anybody. Yes, it's been well documented that, yeah, myself along with several other people have had issues with Felicify. We've had issues with other people. We've had issues with each other. But the thing of it is, is that if we don't band together and throw all this petty ass shit aside and focus on the real fucking problem, that being what YouTube is doing, we're not going to have a platform to express ourselves on anymore. So the way I see it is we need to get our thumbs out of our ass and we need to stand up and do something. You see, here's the thing. I've had a lot of issues, like I said, with Relicify before, but none of that matters to me anymore. None of that matters in comparison to this, okay? And call me crazy. But the thing of it is, is that when Velicify made his video, and I will even go one step further to link you guys to it in the description box down below, I was thinking to myself, it's like I never thought I'd see the day where I would sit down and listen to a video in full coming from this man, considering what we've been through. But I listened to his video, bam. You know why I know you want to know something? It's one of them very few times that I can count on one hand that I agree with him, that I side with him. You see, here's the thing. Despite the amount of crap that he spews out of his mouth every now and then for to some people, the thing of it is, is that, you know, unless he is deliberately breaking community guidelines, he's not doing anything wrong with his Pokemon content. And what if people, like, like he said, okay, what if people who hate him go out of their way to take advantage of this system and how broken it is, and they screw his channel over? Of course, you know, the, the, his, the network that he's with will end up uh, restoring his channel, at least I would think, and that goes with anybody, okay, with anybody, it doesn't matter if you don't like Verlissa, if you don't like Keemstar, if you don't like Leafy, Idubs, Rice Gum, Power Cynical, it doesn't matter, see, here's the thing, it ain't about having a problem with people anymore, it's about us banding together as a legitimate community, okay, we can save all this petty high school bullshit later on, Okay, we can go right back to hating each other or we can actually step up and we can fight with each other shoulder to shoulder. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm willing to do. Okay, like I don't give a shit if I've had problems with anyone in the past. I don't give a shit if anyone has done wrong on to me. I don't care about that no more. Okay, I'm a forgiven person, you know. Like, it's like I said before, it's like, you know, I, I have no ill will towards anybody, especially in this situation. And I say especially because this is a pretty big situation. And I'm pretty hopped up, okay? Yeah, it's part of the pre-workout that is kicking in. It's part of my character that's coming out, that being Mega Crasher. But I'm also speaking from my heart, too, as my real-life self. There is a problem, and we need to fix it. And the thing of it is, is I'm willing to band with whoever needs help. And we can take it to YouTube. We can take this issue to YouTube and we can take it down. But it's not going to work if we are fighting amongst each other, but rather we fight with each other. We fight side by side, okay? And then once this issue is over, like if you want to go back to hating on person A or person B, that's your prerogative. But the thing of it is, is that if someone comes to me and they need my help, then I will do everything I can to help that person, especially if they are in danger of losing their channel when they haven't violated any of the fucking terms of service or community guidelines. You see? And this kind of brings me to one final bonus point. And it kind of revolves around a little uh, little poll that I posted earlier today on Twitter. You see, this right here is a proposal to all of you. You see, there's the whole YouTube heroes thing. Well, here's the thing. You want to call yourself heroes? Well, you want to know something? I'm your anti-hero. Yeah, Mega Crasher is going to be having an anti-hero streak to him. Because if you guys want to pride yourself on calling yourself YouTube heroes, well, then I'm going to be an anti-hero, and I'm going to do everything in my power to take that shit down. Because what this is, is a deliberate mutilation of what YouTube is supposed to be about. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression within reason, okay? 
But see, with this YouTube Heroes program, you are fucking with everybody, essentially, especially if they happen to have a lot of haters. You know, Verlissify, Keemstar, Olivia's here, PewDiePie, like, anybody, okay? Like, I got my haters, okay? Like, the thing of it is, like, I, as long as, as well as everybody else that is on YouTube that has a sizable audience, a sizable audience, and you got your little clans, your little group of haters that are all like, oh, well, guess what? We got a system to take advantage of now. Let's go ahead and start racking up points by doing this, by doing that, by doing this, by doing that. It's it very repetitious, doesn't it? But then, then when they accumulate enough points, they can start mass flagging videos. And see, that's one thing. And of course, YouTube will try and put the wool over our eyes when they say things like, oh, well, we look into all of the complaints anyways. We look into everything that's re reported to us. Bull fucking shit, okay? If that is the case, then I hate everything would not have lost its fucking channel at the beginning of the year, in January, okay? Channel lost him, would not have had all that shit happen to him and result of him losing his channel too, okay? Team Four Star, there's so many channels that have been wrongfully taken down and wrongfully striked without warning. And they haven't done anything. But YouTube, being the oh-so-perfect system that it is, uh, I should say imperfect system, because the thing of it is, is that without taking a second fucking look, they have lost their channels. And yeah, sure, their channels are back up. But what about during the time that their channels have been taken down? What about the ad revenue they lost? What about the potential uh, subscribers they could have gained from that? The views? Things like that, you know? Uh, the, like the videos that they made that they had planned on uploading on those set days in which their channel was gone. You see what I'm saying here? It's like, for fuck's sakes, it's like, call me crazy, call me heated, call me being overdramatic, but if you're going to call me anything... Call the fact that it's passionate. Call the fact that I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about YouTube. I'm passionate about entertaining. And I'm also passionate about keeping it real and having someone's back if they fucking need it. If someone is willing to fight a legitimately good fight and you come to me, well then guess what? I'll be in the foxhole with you. But the thing of it is, is that this whole thing, this whole YouTube heroes thing, is should really be titled YouTube villains, especially given the amount of dislikes that there are. Like, oh, like at this point, like we're almost at one million dislikes on that video. That is absurd. But anyways, guys, uh, I believe I talked your guys zero off way too much and way enough at this point. Take from this what you will, but basically, my message to everybody out there is. You know, rather than focusing on the little petty issues that, you know, like say if, you know, you, you don't like someone because of their hair, because of, you know, how they, uh, t how they speak in some of their videos, you know, big fucking whoop. It's like this issue is big in comparison. We might not even be able to express ourselves freely like we would last year if YouTube Heroes becomes a thing and doesn't get taken right the fucking down. So... Here's my proposal. What do you guys say? Okay? Do, is this something that you guys are as passionate about as I am? Are you guys ready to take on this issue? Because the thing of it is, is yeah, sure. We might be shoulder to shoulder with some people that we might not like, whether it be on YouTube or personally. But the thing of it is, this ain't high school, okay? There's a lot of people that count on YouTube as their platform as careers. And some of our beloved YouTubers could fucking lose it because of some YouTube heroes bullshit that gives free range and deputizes everybody, whether it be for a good reason or to fulfill their own agenda, like some SJW coward. So I'm going to leave you with that. Take from this what you will. Try to take something good from this. And please share this video, okay? Share this fucking video. Like, I don't care how many views it gets. I really don't. Just as long as this message gets out there. Because I am fixing to really hammer things down, okay? Like, I will help you guys out. I am as passionate as ever about this. 
and I will do everything in my power to make sure that our message gets out there, even if it means I get terminated. Guess what? You might be able to silence one person, but you ain't going to be able to silence a whole community because without the community, there is no YouTube. And without YouTube, well, what, what do we got to fall back on? Daily Motion? Vimeo? <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. I've, it's not like I've ever heard of those places before. But the thing of it is, is seriously, guys, this is a big issue. And we need to pull our fucking pants up, and we need to do something about this. So I want to thank you guys very much for sitting through this near 20-minute video, having a sweaty-ass maniac yelling in a microphone. But hopefully, guys, you set all that aside. Let's take something serious from this, okay? So I want to thank you guys very much. And at the end of the day, anyone who is a part of my community, or I should say not a part of my community, a part of our community... I love each and every single one of you guys. It doesn't matter whether I am in my Mega Crasher character, whether I'm, you know, myself. Every single bit of what you see in front of you loves all of you. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're new or old to the community. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Please share this video, and I'll see you guys next upload. Take care. Good night.